I hope you guys are doing fantastic. Mimi niko fiti kabisa. Welcome to this week's vlog. And I don't want to just take you through a lot of stuff today. So what I'm going to do, I'm um, having my friends around and it's a barbecue kind of a weekend. So I'm going to prepare a couple of different meat. So I'm having beef, I'm having pork ribs, I'm having fish, there's chicken. I'll be also, I'll also be making skewers. Yeah, so it's, it's, it's kind of different from what we always do. And there's so many. So it's in the afternoon so possibly we most probably will be eating them as we go because with with meat especially if you the, uh, i'll also be using my griller so that means it's the outside griller see your yeah, yeah yeah cooker so that means uh some of them we will be eating them as we go and then they get to cooler towards moisture so nikama from lunch time all the way to 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 dinner yeah yeah so i'm going to start right away. i've prepared most of the things to save my time like kwa background yangu sijui kama naona i have a couple of things zingine ziko tu hapo they are ready so i'll just be combining them and give you guys a bit of explanation as we continue yeah so let's start by marinating so i'm just going to marinate my skewers as the first thing and then we proceed yeah so let's start with that so i'm going to start right away by preparing my meat for my skewers so over here i have a very lean steak and then Right here, I have the ingredients. I'm definitely gonna show you guys that I'm going to use to marinate it. I'm going to give you the all the ingredients all through. Like I'll try my best and do that. Yeah. So for the for this steak, I'm going to cut it against the lines, like kunayo lines that the meat has. Like it goes one way, like that. So instead of me cutting it, like following the direction of the lines. I'm just going to cut it like across so that you can have our pieces for our skewers. So once I'm done with that, now we're going to combine everything in one bowl and then we're going to marinate it. So let's start with this one. I'm marinating the skewers and it's from a 2 kg steak. Uh, kindly guys note that any portion of ingredients that I'm going to give you from these and any other meat or sauce that I'm going to prepare, just know that you can always omit something that you don't want or you can always use a very small portion or even more depending on what you prefer. Like for me, anything that has chili like cayenne pepper and anything else, I'm only going to put a very small amount, just a pinch uh, to ensure that it's not uh, too much because not everyone takes chili. And then once I'm done marinating these skewers, I'm going to put them in the fridge for two hours or, or more, depending on uh, the time that I'm going to roast them. So I'll be roasting them way later once I'm done doing a couple of the other meat. want to prepare my pork ribs i'll actually be boiling it 
So what I've done with these uh, pork ribs, I have washed it with salt and then I've also removed the membrane. The membrane is the cut thing that is always mostly here or above the meat. So that cut very thin, almost transparent thing. So I've removed it and it's clean. Now what I'll be doing, I'll be chopping it into manageable pieces. Like this is already okay. So I need to maybe chop it, chop this one three times so that I can find three small pieces. And then I'm going to boil it with all these ingredients. Okay, they're not so many. Over here I have onions together with garlic that is not so fine, like it's not grinded. And then I have salt, I have honey, I have, over here I have Worcestershire sauce, I have bay leaf, I have black pepper, I have soy sauce, cooking oil, and over here I have apple juice and water, of course, I'm going to add water as well. So again, I'm going to give you guys the ingredients. So let me first slash this into three and then we put it to boil. So once it is soft, I'm just going to put it on my charcoal griller for, for it to roast. That's how I love uh, preparing my, my pork ribs. Yeah, so let's continue now. So I'm now done chopping them into manageable pieces and I'm going to use this big sufuria to boil them. Now let's put them onto the fire. So I'm not over overcooking my onions. I just want them to wilt, wilt down a bit and then I'm, going, I'm proceeding straight away to add the other ingredients or spices and then I'll put the meal to boil, the meat to boil, sorry. She's putting all our, our cars down on the table knowing there's no way that she'll be able to win this one. She's now I'm adding my pork ribs, although I feel like I should have used a bigger cooking pot. But since I don't have it, this one will just work. And I'm going to add some more water to fill that space. But I still have a couple of ingredients that I need to add. While my <coughs> pork ribs are boiling over here, I want to prepare my uh, sauce for the ribs, although I'm not going to use the same sauce for this. So this particular sauce will be most probably for the goat ribs only. For the pork ribs, I'm going to use the same, same uh, uh, barbecue sauce that I'm going to use on the chicken. Yeah. sounds you make while sipping your coffee i know there's a world outside but right now it's you and me just you and me baby roll out of bed i love when you're hazy re-watching friends for the millionth time well i know there's a world outside but right now it's you and me just you and me, baby Yeah, I did my time The ups and downs But now life's been treating me kindly Because of you My life's not blue anymore Cause you are my baby Now it's time to prepare the fish but before I prepare this, I have a couple of ingredients. Over here, I have red peppers, onions, garlic, and ginger. So I'm going to, to crush this in the blender. I don't have the food processor or the, the small one that people use to crush this. So I'm just going to use my blender. And then I'm going to proceed and put the combination in a pan. 
then that is what we'll use to coat this before it goes into the griller now the griller that is in the the oven griller that one yeah so first let's crush this one so i'm just going to do a rough kind of a crushing like it's it's not going to be thorough it's just gonna be something that's not so fine like the first time throw away all my pride don't want to say i love you first but holding it in just might make me burst love in the open daydreaming hoping melting in Whispering winds bring the remembrance that you're my girl. No shame, no games. I wanna fall in love, fall in love. I'll be a savage, I'll be a baddest bitch, or do you? Caramel honey dipped I'm yours till the beat flips Don't let it slip Give up my power Yes, afraid to lose each other Counting the hours till I see you again Could you be life lover and best friend? Waiting for takes back Wondering where you went Or who could you be with No, I'm not possessive But you're mine get a food processor because the blender didn't do what i wanted it to do like um my red bell pepper ginger and garlic crush was supposed to be roughly crushed not a paste like as you can see it's a paste so applying it is quite um difficult like it's supposed to remain a bit rough so that it can completely attach itself on the fish and inside it yeah but now I'm just going to work with it that way. I previously got a processor, but it failed. So I definitely need to get another one. And guys, this fish was so good. If you've never, if you're the kind of a person that doesn't love fresh fish, like for me, I really love deep fried fish. I never knew I would uh, take this kind of fish, but this method of preparing makes it come out so well. Just ensure that you apply enough salt and then you do your mixture it will be tasting so good it will absorb the juices it will it was actually sweet i was uh, the first time i prepared it before i was actually surprised and i wanted to have it in my menu for my guest today
Something about you was off. Something about you was off. But I was too proud to see it. Do I love to know? Oh. Somebody told me get lost. Somebody gave a heads up. But I just couldn't believe it. Little did I know. So over here I have chicken that I'm going to grill it in the grill as well and I'm going to, it, it will be a barbecue grilled chicken so I have two of that I'm going to grill it together with these uh, these over here I have maize I have carrots and I have these chopped potatoes so I'm going to season these differently just with two things season that separately and then put them together yeah so let's first start by preparing the, the chicken So for this chicken, I'm going to season it with uh, all these, like it's like just, uh, I'm going just to apply it. I'm not going to let it sit for a very long time. So maybe roughly around 15 minutes and then we're going to grill it. So definitely I'm writing for you the, the spices that I'm going to use for this. I've already mixed them right here. So all of them are here. So I'm just going to combine it with the oil right here and then apply. But first, let's remove the backbone and then we butterfly the chicken before we do that.
So the chicken is well coated and well marinated. So I'm just going to put it aside for like 15 to 20 minutes before now. Uh, okay, in the meantime, I'll be seasoning the, the vegetables. But first, let me remove the fish and then we return it back for it to completely dry up. So for the vegetables, I'm only going to add peri-peri seasoning. This one, it's a combination of so many spices. And one of them is actually chili, so you don't need to put a lot of this. And cooking oil to make sure that it is fully seasoned. And a pinch of salt. Yeah, so let's mix that. Was I drinking, looking for the next thing? I couldn't really settle down. Always on the run, I didn't want to slow down. But baby, then you came around. Yeah, you came around. No, I So the chicken has gone into the griller and now it's time to prepare the sauce that I'll use to baste the chicken. So this sauce I'm going to most probably use it on the chicken and maybe on the ribs as well. But I'm not so sure whether I'll prepare the, the goat ribs since we have the pork ribs and I have a sauce for that. Yeah, so right here I have uh, all these I'm going to use to prepare the, the, the barbecue sauce. So ketchup, honey, Worcestershire sauce white vinegar, black pepper, and then I have um, the yellow mustard and a bit of salt. I've added all of them right here and I'm putting them right away on here. And then I'm just going to let it heat up for a few minutes as I stir it. 
and put it aside for it to cool down and then we're going to use it later. So this is the first sauce that I had prepared. Now the difference between this and this is just the, the onions and the bell peppers, the red bell peppers. So this one has a taste of onions, like because it has onions of course. And then over here, this is the one that we've just made. I didn't want to prepare a lot because I, I don't want to store it this time round. Yeah, so that is what we have. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to use a, a brush when I'll be Basting so even this one has a bit of um, let's say soup that I will use it I actually love this so much it tastes so good and smells good as well But all of them are equally good and for different things. Yeah, so let's proceed now and prepare the skewers Then we go to the other side where the the the, 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 the griller is to Malaysia kuchoma sasa sounds you make while sipping your coffee i know there's a world outside but right now it's you and me just you and me baby roll out of bed i love when you're hazy re-watching friends for the millionth time well i know there's a world outside but right now it's you and me Okay, now so right here the pork that we had put to boil is ready at Aisha pour. So I'm just going to put it aside for a bit and then we're going to take it to the to the outside griller. Yeah, so right now what I want to do is I want to to roast the steak. So I'm going to use this pan and over here is my meat. I'm completely not intending to add anything on this meat since Everything else that, that I prepared as a bit of chili, and there are people who don't want to take, who don't take chili. Yeah, so I'm only going to spread salt, and then I'm going to just uh, have it that way. I just miss you more than anything It's way too quiet in the house I'm just wasted on the couch Cause I don't want to feel anything Wish you'd stay Stay here beside me This isn't how it's supposed to be Wish you'd stay Just can't stop thinking about us. I won't forget a single thing from drunken nights to Sunday mornings and how you smile at me. Wish you stay, stay here beside me. This isn't how it's supposed to be. Wish you.
That's how it's supposed to be Testing the chicken with the barbecue sauce. Uh, the chicken is well cooked, like so well cooked. So I'm basting it and then I'm going to put it back into the oven griller for 10 minutes at 180 degrees Celsius. Then if you love it, you can remove it again after the 10 minutes, baste it again to give it a second layer of the sauce, then return it back for another 10 minutes. The chicken will be well coated, good color. It will just be uh, tasting so good and then the skin will be somehow crisp which is uh, so good and then also just ensure that if you're not going to use the sauce if you're going to use the sauce again or if you're going to store it you can separate it so that you don't uh, since you're using you're dipping the brush into the sauce so that you don't contaminate it if you're going to preserve it but for me i'm just dipping it directly because i'm not intending to store it i'll maybe i'll most probably use everything for the other ribs <laughs> the outside griller or the charcoal griller so i'm now going to roast my skewers alongside the pork remember we had boiled it and it absorbed all the ingredients so it's just so good and tender so boiling it will make it even more better like pork is not like beef and goat meat if you boil the goat meat and beef and then you roast it it's gonna taste funny but for pork for me it's perfectly fine and then uh just ensure that the brush that you're using is heat resistant and the side of the meat that has the bone, the bony side is the one that can resist more heat. So once the meaty part gets brown, you can now turn it to the other bony part because that part cannot easily get burned. She's putting all, all of her cars down on the table Knowing there's no way that she'll be able to win this one but she's somebody else in the making first She's just gotta stop all the faking And she'll be there But she's wondering if it's gonna feel like she's forever Wondering if it's gonna feel like she's whenever She leaves her safe space She leaves her safe space Cause that is 
have the meat alongside two salads so the first one was the one that has cucumber onions and avocado i'm of course going to dress it with um, the other ingredients that i've just shown you then for the cucumber and the onions i'm going to soak it for at least 20 minutes for the onions to remove that um taste that it always leaves on the okay in your mouth and now for the cucumber not to like it's quite crunchy so for it to to wilt down a bit yeah so that is what i'm going to do and then i was just watching this video at this point and i'm like i was a bit tired honestly at this part at this point and i'm like where is your paper glove but trust me and my hands were clean so I'm, I'm preparing both salads without using um their paper glove and then the second salad i'm going to prepare will be the normal kachumbari so i'll do the same for the onions i'm just going to put it uh, in salty water that has vinegar and then re uh, of course strain the water then mix the combination the, the cucumber salad is so good guys so good i i knew about it through quiz kitchen on instagram and since i i'm always into experiencing experimenting things and since i tasted it it tastes so good don't skip the black pepper unless you don't like it because it makes it so 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 good
we also prepared uh, potato wedges for it to be taken alongside the dishes and then um i prepared ugali i'm not going to show you that like most of them ate wedges like we prepared a lot of it for me there's no way that i can have all that meat without ugali like i didn't even bite even a single wedge for me it has to go with ugali also i prepared creamy spinach you're gonna see how my plate uh, looked at the end of the video so thank you so much guys for watching thank you for being here thank you for being part of my journey and enjoy your week something about me has changed something about me has changed i'm sleeping just fine without you didn't know i could something about me feels strange something to know